first of all, he says, uh, I'd like to correct you of Muhammad Furhan's question. Jazakallah khair, Rashid. I wrote it down. Ma ma'na al-fatwa wa man muahal lil-ifta. So, Jazakallah khair for the correction, but so many times we assume things which are not wrong, which are not correct. So, it is a lesson for all of us not to jump the gun, not to think that we know better than others. This is point number one. Point number two, um, his friends who are helping this child while their, her parents smoke. So does their, her parents' uh, sin of smoking should allow you to discontinue the charity they're doing for the girl? Of course not. This is a sin that the parents do. So when you tell them that, no, 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 they buy cigarettes, so you should not help the girl. They're helping the girl. They're feeding the girl. They're clothing the girl. They're interested in uh, taking her to school and paying her fees. You have no right to interfere. And the Prophet said, min husni islam al mar tarkuhu ma la yani. It is part of a Muslim's proper Islam to abandon and leave what's none of his business. So you don't have any right to say this to them or to discontinue such khair, such goodness coming to this girl because of a doubt you have in your head or uh, uh, some whispers that you have in your head. Maybe, maybe if we were to be 100% certain that they're misusing the money given to them rather than to the girl herself, maybe you can tell them to buy the girl something that is a, a, a material that she uses. So they buy her the food, they pay directly for her school fees, they uh, uh, do whatever, buy her clothes themselves rather than giving her parents cash and all those